Hello everyone. You are welcome to this platform. Today we're going to see how we can convert an absolute value function to a piecewise function. So in this question, we are given the function f of x, which is the absolute value of x minus 3 plus the absolute value of x plus 1. And we have been asked to express f of x as a piecewise function. We also need to draw the graph of f of x and use the graph to solve this inequality to find the range of values of x for which this inequality is satisfied. So we're going to start with the first one, a. And to convert this absolute value function to this piecewise defined function, we need to start by defining these two absolute value functions properly. So we know that the absolute value of x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 3, or negative into x minus 3 if x is less than 3. We also know that the absolute value of x plus 1 is x plus 1 if x is, if x is greater than or equal to negative 1, or negative into x plus 1 if x is less than negative 1. So at this point, we need to find the intersection of this pair of intervals. Here we have two intervals, and here we have two intervals. So there are four possible ways of combining them. So let's start with these two. So here we need the intersection of these two intervals. And to get this intersection easily, you can represent these two intervals on the same normal line and read out the intersection. So if x is greater than or equal to 3 and x is greater than or equal to negative 1, the intersection will just be the set or the interval x greater than or equal to 3. And if you take this first branch and this one, that is this interval and this one, you discover that the intersection will be an empty set. That is, if x is greater than or equal to 3, and x is less than or equal to 3, then we cannot find an intersection. That is, it is not possible to find an x such that x is greater than or equal to 3 and at the same time less than negative 1. So we leave at that one. Let's take these two branches. That is, if x is less than 3 and x is greater than or equal to negative 1, the intersection will be the interval negative 1 less than or equal to x, which is less than 3. And thirdly, we need to take these two branches. That is, if x is less than 3 and x is less than negative 1, the intersection will just be the interval x less than negative 1. Therefore, we have three ranges. So let's start with the first one. We start with the range x less than negative 1. And we know that if x is less than negative 1, this range, then the absolute value of x minus 3 will just be negative into x minus 3, and the absolute value of x plus 1 will just be negative into x plus 1. Yeah, this interval is obtained from these two branches. So we are saying that if x is less than negative 1, the absolute value of x minus 3 will be negative into x minus 3, and the absolute value of x plus 1 is negative into x plus 1. If you take the second range, that is negative 1 less than or equal to x, which is less than 3, we are going to have the absolute value of x minus 3 will be, the, will be negative into x minus 3, and the absolute value of x plus 1 will just be x plus 1. This is the interval here, which is obtained from this and this. Thirdly, if x is greater than or equal to 3, then the absolute value of x minus 3 will just be x minus 3. And the absolute value of x plus 1 will just be x plus 1. Yes, this is the range, the interval, x greater than or equal to 3, which is obtained from this and this. Good. Therefore, the function f of x, which is the absolute value of x minus 3 
plus the absolute value of x plus 1 can also be expressed in the form we take these three possibilities so here we have negative into x minus 3 and here we have negative into x plus 1 so the absolute value of x minus 3 will give us negative into x minus 3 plus negative into x plus 1 and this holds for x less than negative 1 secondly we have negative into x minus 3 plus x plus 1 and this holds for negative 1 less than or equal to x which is less than 3 and thirdly we have x minus 3 plus x plus 1 for x greater than or equal to 3 therefore if we simplify this we are going to obtain this first branch gives us 2 minus 2x for x less than negative 1 this second branch gives us 4 for negative 1 less than or equal to x which is less than 3 and this third branch gives us 2x minus 2 for x greater than or equal to 3 good so this is what we're supposed to show so we're saying that to express an absolute value function as a piecewise defined function we simply need to define the absolute value functions properly and then we take the intersections the second question says we should draw the graph of f of x and use the graph to solve this inequality so if you look at this function you see that these three branches are all linear functions this one is a straight line which starts from negative one downwards this one is the horizontal line y equal to 4 which starts from negative 1 up to 3 and this one is also a straight line 2x minus 2 which starts from 3 upwards so let's look at the graph of this function so this first branch 2x minus 2 which starts from negative 1 downwards is represented like this this is the graph here it starts from x equal to negative 1 and it goes downwards the second branch, which is just the horizontal line y equal to 4, starts from negative 1 up to 3. So this is the second branch here. It starts from negative 1 up to 3. So this is the line. And then the third branch, which is the line 2x minus 2, starts from 3 upwards. So this is x equal to 3. So the line starts from 3 and it goes upwards. So if you combine these three branches, we are going to have the complete graph of y equal to f of x. That is the graph of this function, excluding this straight line. This is the graph of the function here. And so, how do we use this graph to solve this in equation? This is what we are supposed to do. You are supposed to draw the line y equal to 6 on the same axis. This is the horizontal line, y equal to 6. And to find the range of values of x for which this in equation is satisfied, we need to read of those values of x for which the graph of y equal to f of x lies below the line y equal to 6 because of this inequality sign here. We are looking for the range of values of x for which the graph lies below the line y equal to 6. And from this graph, we can see that from negative 2, from x equal to negative 2, right up to x equal to 4, that graph lies below the line y equal to 6. Therefore, if the absolute value of x minus 3 plus the absolute value of x plus 1 is less than 6, then the range of values of x for which this inequation is, is satisfied starts from 2 up to 4. So this is the solution to this inequation.